determine the spacing of pregnancy, which is where we are very concerned about, and I'll touch a little bit about that. It is achieved through the use of contraceptive methods and treatment of infertility. So oftentimes we don't, that other bit is silent, and actually in our public sector, we have no capacity currently to treat people that have infertility, but it is a component of family planning, and I'm sure you know the social effects of that as well. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention that while we are about healthy spacing of pregnancy, family planning also includes the treatment of infertility. And um, healthy timing and spacing of pregnancy is a family planning intervention that is associated with the best health outcomes for our newborns, infants, and mothers through the practice of recommended pregnancy spacing. And I don't think I have to convince this committee that uh, our newborns today will be sitting right where you are sitting in 30, 40 years time. And we do need to make sure that we secure that generation. Um, I often say that, I don't know how many farm in this, but I often say when I explain healthy timing and spacing is that I don't know anyone who would go into their maize field where they have a nice maize crop that is at this height and they start planting another maize crop so that the two begin to grow together in one season. So that's all we're talking about when we're talking healthy timing and spacing. We just say we would like women to space their children by at least two years because it has been shown that anything less increases the chances of the mother dying, increases the chances of the baby dying. Why? Because that body would not have recovered enough to be able to carry another pregnancy. Um, so I hope that that, that has clarified um, matters. Uh, we still want to be fruitful as a nation. We still want children, we want babies, but we want to do it in a healthy manner so that we also have in the future generations to come people that can sit here and make decisions on behalf of our nation. Uh, the next slide. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page. 263 chats.